Greetings and grand rising to you all on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul assist day. Sol solstice, my goodness, the tongue. <laughs> grand risings and greetings to you all. Happy, 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 happy solstice from Crete. Sending you all so much love of the highest vibration as we celebrate this beautiful auspicious day. I just wanted to pop on here quickly before my workshop starts to just give you a message <coughs> from the Divine Mother. Um, this morning I was on the beach and I was receiving these beautiful downloads um, about what's happening in the celestial realms at this moment. This particular uh, summer solstice is a powerful one where we see Venus making her ascent through the house of um, cancer as we also today move into the astrological sign of cancer which is the mother and this is a beautiful time because it also represents harmony between the divine mother and the divine father we are receiving information energy insights downloads from the galactic mother center which is andromeda and also the galactic father center which is alkaloid um, and what that means is that there is this great unification that's taking place in the heavens and so i was in my meditations at the, at the sea this morning and mother just came down and gave me this beautiful powerful message and it's very very in alignment very very divine i'm currently in crete um, following the path of the goddess whilst developing a women's leadership program and global women's leadership program but also as you know i walk the path of the mother goddess so me being here is about activating that divine feminine energy and activating those ancient ancestral codes of the divine feminine and really kind of reclaiming and rewalking the path by resurrecting the history and learning from the history of the ancient mothers. And so this particular day is a powerful and blessed day. And the message that the divine mother has for us is that you must radiate your light. The message that she had was come into the light, come into the light of who it is that you are come into the truth of your own being come into the radiance of shining your authentic truth into the world mother says that the past is gone the summer solstice represents the beginning of summer and so it's about the release of the shadows it's about the release of the past and mother is encouraging us right now to step into our light to allow ourselves to be illuminated and so um i wrote the men the message that she channeled through me and um, she asked me to share that with you and it says divine children it's time to celebrate it's time to come into the light come into the light of your own soul come into the light of your truth come into the light of the truth of who you really are beyond this flesh come into the light of the unique expression of who it is that you are as a divine being a divine expression of light you are light you are living light embodied not a soul you are living light and that light the light of the divine is encoded in you release yourself from the shadows of the past release yourself from the illusions of the past and let the light illuminate all that is hidden so you can see and release so that you can reveal your radiance bask in the light of who you are liberate your soul to be free and radiate its light it's time to be seen it's time to dream big it's time to trust in the power you hold it's time to trust in the vision that you see of yourself and it's time to reclaim your birthright <clears throat> it's time to come into the light of your own wisdom which comes from the revelations and the healing that takes place in your own shadows it's time to come into the light of your own being and recognize who it is that you are and choose to show up as that aspect each and every single day. <clears throat> it's time to come into the light of your wisdom and trust yourself. It's time to come into the light of your wisdom and invite your higher self to speak to you and through you and allow the divine within you to guide you. It's time to come into the light of your inner knowing and to radiate the light of your soul from within. And this time is now. We are being bathed in light that activates the DNA and the golden threads of time that have been woven and they now converge in this moment. Like the Big Bang, this is an auspicious time in the universal matrix. As you saw within the Schumann resonance the other day, that the, 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 planet's, vib the planet's magnetic field has expanded. And when you saw the image of the Schumann resonance, it looks like golden threads. These are golden threads that are weaving this new matrix and this new reality. 
And on this day, we're all encouraged to focus on the reality that we wish to see. We are called to focus on seeing ourselves being bathed in this golden light, drawing and magnetizing to us more of what we need, drawing and magnetizing to us this inspired vision of humanity, and also drawing and magnetizing to us all of the separations, the illusions of separation between us as humans, for there is only one human race. There is not <coughs> these divisions and these factions of black and white, and no, there is only one human race, and that is the truth, that we are one that we are expressing ourselves as different emanations of the source. We are different light fragments of the source. However, we are one. And everything in the universe is coming into this alignment, into this conversion of oneness. And so that needs to take place within ourselves. That's why we're going through all of this shadow work. That's why we're going through this collective shadow work. So we can see the illusions of separation. We can see the, the way in which divisive natures have kept us apart, have kept us apart from each other, have kept us apart from ourselves. Our wisdom has turned us against ourselves. And we're choosing now to release that and coming to the light. Light is in information. Light is wisdom. And so mother is asking you to come into that light. Also within our DNA, those golden threads are being activated. That God code is being activated. That divine intelligence is being activated. And for many who took the vaccine, you're also seeing a lot of people dying and transitioning because they cannot hold the frequency. They can no longer hold the frequency and the vibration that is required to live on this earth consciously. And so we will see more and more people who have in a way chosen on a soul level to exit because as they exit and they leave this realm, they bring more light for those who are here right because as we release the heaviness as we release the lower vibrational elements we leave more space for light and we can vibrate at a higher frequency most of the time when people are passing at the moment it's usually to do with stress of the mind so people are having strokes people are having brain hemorrhages people are having heart attacks these are all to do with our vibrational frequency and how we hold on to energy so when we're doing these heart clearings when we're clearing out our shadows it's so that we can vibrate as light as the heart so that the heart can now wait a light against the feather of truth. And so we are being asked and called to come into our truth because the truth will truly set you free. The truth of your ignorance will set you free. The truth of your ignorance will lead you to the path of wisdom. The truth of your unknowing will lead you to the path of knowing. The truth of your um, of you expressing your being will, will ignite you into the path of becoming that which you are and embodying that which you are. No longer just visioning, but manifesting and being and creating. And so when we talk about walking into the light, I see this golden light before us. And in that golden light is the higher self vision of who it is that you are. And you're being encouraged to focus your energy on that part of yourself and walk into that part of yourself, embody that part of yourself. How does she move? How does he move? How does he think? How do, what energy does he emanate? This is where you need to be focusing your energy and calling down that golden light from the center of the universe to help radiate you, to help magnetize you, to help clear your shadows and illuminate your path as you move forward. Mother says the mother is rising in the divine sacred harmony with her son and the father. So this is not just about woman coming to the fore. It's about balance. And the mother is rising to meet the father and both of them together bring the son. And so when we talk about the summer solstice, we're talking about the birth of light through the unification of the masculine and the feminine. That's what births that light consciousness from our darkness. <clears throat> the mother is rising in divine sacred harmony with the son and the father, the original trinity. This is the time of balance and harmony, and so you must unify all aspects of yourself. The moon is the light that illuminates the shadows and she is showing you the way. Don't be afraid. All that is brought to the light in this time is for your highest good. And we're also being supported in an accelerated expansion. So when things are coming up for you, don't feel as if you have to go through this long process of healing. Acknowledge it and release it. Acknowledge it and release it. Acknowledge it and release it. <coughs> it's all for your highest good. This is the golden time, the time of acceleration of prosperity and plenty. Let your basket be full. Believe in yourself and your wildest dreams and see the vision of yourself that glitters in gold and become him or her. Magnetize that part of you to you now. Call it back to you and allow your light to inform every cell in your body and in your being of who you are and what you are. Because in truth, my children, you are all just rays of God's light and God's love. We are all just rays of God's light and God's love. We are all just living rays of God's light and God's love. Each one of you is light. Each thought is light. Each feeling is light. All is light. So do not cast unnecessary darkness on your life. For all it will do is set you on a path of uncovering more of your light. Don't turn away from your light in fear. Or if you do not yet recognize yourself as the light that you see. Be kind. Be patient. 
be gentle ask to be activated and initiated into the truth of who you are go into your being there is a divine celestial marriage and alignment taking place in the heavens which is also manifest within you choose this day to align with your internal forces choose this day to align with your higher self and your lower self and bring them into oneness choose this day to release any illusion of separation and come into oneness with yourself with source your light your light body is activating take time to bask in the rays and close your eyes feel the messages from your light body access the different layers within your energy field and clear them with golden light emotional layer cleared astral layer cleared root chakra activated and the golden seed of prosperity for activated and embedded for you are rooted in abundance as a child of the divine we are rooted in abundance and the mother and father delight in our joy we must once again be like children expecting the greatness from our reality, trusting in the magic and magnetic power of our mind, our heart and our being. We must illuminate our third eyes to see and see the change and see the turn and become the manifestors, the master manifestors through the power of source and spirit. Today, we activate the solar Christos codes within our inner temple. Today, there is a celestial marriage happening within the heavens. Today, Venus, the goddess, the divine mother moves into cancer the mother so the maiden now meets the mother and they both dance with the father in oneness it's time to rise and shine rise in love rise in light rise in truth for all is well all is well and well is all it's time to celebrate for the earth goddess has now been crowned and now makes her ascent with her divine masculine solar sun earth's ascension has been won and it's time to celebrate this was from the Galactic Mama Andromeda and the Galactic Father Alkaloid. And since I've been on this place, in this place, all of these energies have been coming alive to me. Uh, Andromeda and, you know, Queen Cassiopeia, who was the Ethiopian queen that came to Greece. You know, so many powerful activations and ignitions are taking place. So many past life memories are coming. But remember, they're not past lives. Your soul is eternal. So your soul is activating the memories that are relevant for you to understand why you are here in this time and what it is that you are here to do. Your message from Divine Mother on this day is to activate your light, to release the illusions of separation from you and God, to release the illusions of the separation between you and your destiny, to release all illusions between of separation between you and the Almighty and step into your